When working in Excel and working with formulas specifically, there's a few basic things that you need to understand. I'm going to take you through a few of them. If you know this basic stuff, it's going to make your life a bit easier if you don't know why your formulas is not working. Now the first thing is you need to know that when you're referring to text, your text needs to be in inverted commas. So if I do a very quick logical formula, I've got the word apple in A1. I want to test if that cell is equal to apple. So if I'm just going to say equal to apple, it's not going to work. Because Excel does not know what apple means. But if I put this into inverted commas, then it knows what apple means. The same with a space. If I want to test if that cell is a space, I need to put it in a space. Then it will tell me there's a space. If I delete the space, then obviously it will be false. But as when referring to space, you literally put the space there. If you refer to absolutely nothing, I'm just going to put two inverted commas there. So if I've got nothing there, then it will work. The next thing is when you do any type of formula, use the formula function bar. Now let's just start a normal if formula. So if, if you do a formula, if I just type i, it will give me all the formulas that start with i. So I want to do an if, I just tap and then it starts. So here at the bottom it already tells you what fields this formula consists of. So if I click on the fx button on top there, it will open up. Now this is a very important thing to use because this function bar helps you to do your formula. So first it will tell you what the formula is doing. Then it will on every single field you're clicking, you see at the bottom there, it will show you what I'm doing. And then as you're doing your formula, the formula result will also show. So let's just do a very quick sum formula because with sum it will also do it. So now I'm just selecting that numbers. So can you see if I click on this number, it shows me what it, what it does. This one shows me what the whole formula does. And at the bottom there, it already gives me a result. So this is a very handy function to use. If you, if I just go into this formula bar again, so at the at the left and right hand side here, it, it sort of gives you what's in there. If I put something there, that doesn't make sense. It will tell me there that it's an error. So always check the right hand side of this field, because it will always tell you that it's it's either making sense or not. So this is a very handy function to use in Excel. Now when you are using sum ifs, vlookups or pivot tables, then make sure that you always select all the data. So for example, if I've got a table array there and I do a vlookup, and I'm just going to search for A. Instead of selecting that range now, just select the whole thing. It gives you a bit more accurate result. Because if I only selected this, well let's do this quickly. I'm only selecting that range. It will still work. But let's say I'm searching for the word D. And D is just there. Can you see it won't work? But if I selected the whole range, the whole column, then it works perfectly. So that's a very, very important thing. Let's quickly look at what everything means. So if I look at a specific range, that is a range. So I've selected from E to I, and I've physically selected the range there. So that's a very important thing. That's also a range. That's E3 to H13. What's important here is when you use the formula function bar, it always refers to either a range or a criteria. Now when you see the word range, it means that you need to select more than one cell. When you see the word criteria, you need to select one cell at a time. Always look out for that specific thing. So I mean, if I just go back into a normal VLOOKUP again, you see, it says table array, it says range lookup. So just read what it says. If you go into the SUMI formula, 
you can see a range. Now range means we need to select more than one thing. Some range means we need to select more than one thing. And criteria means we can only select one thing at a time. Another nice tip to use is when you work with big data sets, always freeze the panes, because then you can see your headings. What I almost always do, is let's say you've got something called title there, always put the titles on top. Because when you scroll down, then you'll see what's your title. So it just works better. The last tip I want to show you guys, remember in the first example, I had the word apple there. So then I said, is that equals to apple? If you use big formulas, don't type in text, rather refer to a cell. So rather than do that, I could have said is, let's say I've got another word there. I could have said is A1 equals to, because now I can change this and uh, it changes my formula. So don't type in the word apple, don't type in text in your formulas, it's, it, it takes away some functionalities. So that's the basic principles I wanted to show you guys. Um, follow these principles and you're going to make your life a bit easier.